So we're going to be setting up a Kubernetes cluster and we're going to be using K3S for that. Now there's a couple of reasons why I always recommend K3S to my students, at least in the beginning. The first reason is don't start with Kube ADM because it's too intimidating if you're a beginner and it's just going to lead to frustration and you're not going to get this, ooh, I'm learning something, this, this feeling of um, early mastery. You're, you're not going to get that. And that's, it's really important to get some positive reinforcement early in your learning process. So don't start there. You can move to that when you are a bit more advanced. And the thing that I am actually using in my home lab is Talos. But again, I don't recommend going into Talos Linux as a beginner because it's much more valuable to actually have access to your Linux OS. So Talos actually takes over your entire disk and it only exposes an API. You can't even SSH into Talos, which is why it's great because it's completely secure. But if you use K3S, you still keep your Linux operating system. Like I'm running Raspbian OS on these Pis now. And after my Kubernetes cluster is set up, I can still tinker with Linux. There are still things I can do on that Pi besides running a Kubernetes cluster. So that's the reason why we choose K3S. Finally, K3S is great because it's easy to set up, it works out of the box, and it runs as a single, bi single binary, which is amazing. Now we can get started. I have my both Pi's set up, and all I did was just install the image, and that's it. 